Welcome back. Today on the airboat build, I'm working on one of the last um, components for the wiring in the electric system. And what I'm installing is the wideband O2 controller. So as you can tell, um, I'm using a 14.7 brand wideband O2 controller. I'm using, this is with the uh, 4.9 Bosch O2 sensors. It was $249 and I bought an extra sensor at an extra 50 bucks. So in the past I've been, I've had pretty good luck actually with uh, Innovate and the, uh, what is it, the LM1 controller. Um, it's worked pretty well. Based on reading I heard that the, this 4.9 Bosch is a better sensor. Uh, and this 14.7, it's kind of a home-brewed kind of thing, but uh, I thought I'd give it a try. So what I got, so obviously this is the sensor. It comes with the uh, connecting cable. That's the extra sensor there. It comes with a couple uh, fused wires and then uh, the bung to weld it to the exhaust. This is the unit over here. And uh, you know, on the website actually, it looked like more of a manufactured piece. This is just 3D printed case. The, um, which to be honest, I don't really mind if it's just some guy making it at his place, as long as it's a, it's, you know, a quality piece on, on where it counts. So the uh, O2 sensor connects through that cable there. On this side, there's this uh, wiring block, and this is the uh, the Mega Spartan. The reason I went with this one, uh, well, partly because I said I wanted to try the uh, 4.9 Bosch sensor. This one in particular, though, directly wires to the Mega Squirt. So it um, two of the wires will come out of here. We'll go straight to the CAN bus, and uh, just with configuration through Mega Squirt, it should read directly as a, a CAN bus input. So I have opened this up already to take a look on the inside. It's uh, configured right now just for one O2 sensor, but it can have up to eight, and that's what all these, these extra spots are available. So presumably you just buy that extra chip, solder it in there, and you could expand up to eight O2 sensors. Um, and that's it. I mean, obviously this guy's made a proprietary uh, circuit board. It looks pretty simple and, and I mean obviously most of it is the expansion of or the capability to expand up to eight sensors. For my application I'm just going to use the one. That should be plenty. So I'm going to put this back together. We'll uh, wire up the CAN bus and weld that bung onto the exhaust. That should be about it.
Okay, so the wide band is completely installed. That's a sensor there. Apparently it needs to be on a bit of a vertical angle so that water condensation can drain out of it. And um, so a couple feet or a foot and a half, I guess, aft of the turbo, I think that'll be fine. Cabling runs all the way down. And then for the wiring, so the controller is mounted on the side here. And um, this is the CAN bus wires that goes to the Mega Squirt. Down here is the return from the sensor, and then of course powers and ground. And I have it all running off uh, one of the relays. So uh, install was pretty easy. Overall, it looks like a decent product. I won't see how it performs until I get this started. And actually, we're getting pretty close. So hopefully that'll be soon. Thanks for watching.